I actually started writing poems when I was seven, an ode to my dead parents, went on to write many poems about death and desire, crumpled in the corner, etc. Uh, got married and developed a sense of humor finally, and uh, decided to write short, funny poems instead of long, miserable poems. And though I hadn't intended to do decade books, I came to realize that each decade had certain qualities and that I could organize poems around the decades. I am basically a very energetic person. If I, I, I mean, I can get up in the morning, go from my bedroom to my office across the hall and start writing without coffee, without even brushing my teeth. If I start to feel droopy, I think I'm probably um, about to die of some fatal illness. It's so unusual for me not to be energetic or feel energetic. A secret to a gr good, long-lasting marriage is A, dumb luck, marrying somebody who's going to uh, be the right person for you, not only the first few years, but over the long haul, and a huge amount of hard work, goodwill, and a willingness to laugh. There's, there's a point in marriage where your true options are homicide or laughter, and you might as well choose laughter. Uh, people seem to think that I walk around life um, laughing merrily at its unhappinesses, but the fact is I probably have cried over everything that I have wound up writing funny poems about. The hardest part about turning 80 is that uh, more people you love get sick, more people you love die. It is the last segment of your life. That's the bad news. The good news is I think that we who are 80 or getting toward 80 have developed an enormous capacity for gratitude, appreciation, not moaning about what we don't have, but embracing and loving what we do have.